today we're group seven and today we're going to be presenting to y'all Pitt's Law. Uh, myself, Stephen Fuller, Benny Holmes, and Sophion. First of all, I'm going to present you to Benny. He's going to explain to you a little bit who Paul Fitz is and we'll go from there. As Stephen said, um, my name is Benny and I'll be talking about Paul Fitz, the developer of Fitz Law. As you can see, he was a psychologist at the Ohio State University, and as I said before, he created Fifth Law. Fifth Law, the model of human movement, proposed in 1954 by, as I said, Paul Fitz. It's based on rapid aim movement, primarily used in human computer interaction. Next, I would like to discuss ergonomics, which is the scientific method concerned with the understanding of interactions among humans and other elements of a system, such as computers. What ergonomics does is predict the time required to rapidly move to a target area, and is a function of the distance to the target in the size of the target. Fifth law is used to model the act of pointing either physically touching an object with the hand or your finger or virtually by pointing to that same object on a computer monitor using a pointing device. Fifth law has gone on to become one of the most highly successful and well-studied mathematical models of human motion. Next, I'll present uh, Sofian, who will discuss how the model is translated into a mathematical form formula. Hi, my name is Sofian. I'm going to be talking a little bit more about how we can uh, uh, formulate the uh, Fitz Law uh, mathematically. Uh, Fitz Law has been formulated mathematically in several different ways. Um, one common form is the Shannon formulation proposed by Scott McKenzie. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and break down the Fitz Law. Uh, first, we start with the uh, letter T, which is the average time taken to complete, uh, to complete the uh, movement time, the time of the movement. Uh, letter A represents the start and stop time of the device intercept. Uh, letter B uh, stands for the inherent speed of the device slope. Uh, this constant can be determined uh, experimentally by fitting a straight line to measured data. Letter D is the distance from the starting point to the center of the target. Traditionally, researchers uh, have uh, used the symbol a for this to mean the amplitude of the movement. Uh, the last letter, which is letter W, is the width of the target measured along the axis uh, of the motion. Uh, w can also be thought of as the allowed error tolerance in the final position. Since the final point of the motion must fall within the plus negative W divided by 2 of the target center. Let's go ahead and uh, pass uh, uh, more explanation to my friend, uh, Stephen. Today, the application of Fitz's Law is put in different many ways. Uh, the first HCI, or the Human Computer Interaction application of Fitz's Law, was by Card, English, and Burr in 1978. They used it to compare the performance of different input devices. Out of all these different input devices, the mouse was the one that came out on top. The work that they did was a major factor leading to the mouse's commercial introduction, which is, was introduced by Xerox. Since the advent of GUI, or graphical user interfaces, Fitz Law has been applied anywhere that you must use a mouse cursor to put a cursor over on a screen on a target, such as a button or a widget. Fitz's Law it models both point and click and drag and drop actions. What the application does is anything we use any day, 
uh, say you use IE, like Internet Explorer, the mathematical equation is measuring where and how long and how the ease of use whenever you're doing all the clicks on buttons and the different things that you're doing, drag and drop, copying a picture, and makes the user interface easier for people today and allows the people that make these programs to have a way to, to figure all this out. It's not only used as a personal device, but you can also use it in everyday operations where people are using different computer devices to make your business faster, make it quicker, and in any day, you know, in a corporate atmosphere, makes things more efficient. So this law has been put in many different ways and used a lot, especially in today's times with the, the technology and how much computers are used. So we appreciate y'all's time. We hope you understand what we've done with Fitz's Law. And if you have any questions, here's some citations where we got our information. And I uh, appreciate it, and thank you for y'all's time.